Hey, 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 guys, Old Man G back again with another video for Red Devils 2. You'll see my face in a bit, but I thought I'd do another Manchester United injury update. Um, obviously, the, the regular injured player, Phil Jones, on the thumbnail. But yeah, the video was quite popular. Um, so I thought it'd be good to try and do a weekly or bi-weekly update to just essentially just keep Manchester United um, fans informed of where we are and who's out. Um, United are currently going for a lot of injuries, especially in midfield. Um, and... Um, I thought it would be just worth just going through when people are expected to be back, et cetera, et cetera. So without further ado, let's get to it. Um, so Donny van der Beek, Donny, Donny van der Beek. And here I am, here I am, here I am. Donny van der Beek, man. Um, I don't know what's going on with Donny. It was a bit strange, the fact that he um, sort of came back, I think, um, briefly. It was on the bench and then is out now injured again. Um, we're not really sure what the nature of his injury actually is. Niggles were being told. Um, could there be an element of um, dissatisfaction with what's going on at Manchester United? Actually, someone said an interesting thing actually on Twitter, and they said that um, it's interesting how a lot of the Ajax squad, of that, that semi-final squad that left Ajax, how they're not really doing that great. If you look at Ziyech, obviously at Chelsea, um, De Ligt at Juventus, who, who was supposedly going to be the next best New Van Dyke, and he's not really done a lot at Juventus. He's been off the, he's been on the bench mostly. De Jong been okay, but not set the world alight. So all those and Van, Donny Van der Beek's obviously here. So all these players that have left Ajax have bored. They've not really set the light, the world on fire, really. Um, and now this isn't related to Donny's obviously injury, um, but there is obviously, you know, I don't think you could. There's, a, it's, it seems to be too much of a coincidence that. He's obviously not getting the team. A lot of people are giving Oli slack, but it's just weird. I just thought about something. You know what? You're right. I don't, unless someone can tell me in the comments, um, I don't know many, if any, players from that particular squad that left the club and went on to sort of do, to become a better and greater, you know. So I thought that's interesting. But as far as I don't even want him back, goodness knows what. I mean, Oli Gunnar Sorcher in his press conference against West Ham pretty much said that we're going to be without Donny van der Beek. Um, and so, you know, we're going to rely or have to rely um, on Fred, McTominay, Matic and Bruno as our midfield. Um, you know, so God forbid, you know, what if Bruno gets injured? If Bruno gets injured, I don't even know how that midfield even works. I We'd have no attacking midfielder. You might have to play McTominay as an attacking midfield and play Matic and Fred there, which I don't know how that would work, but we'll see. So, no word on when Donny van der Beek will be. Um, I think Oli was kind of cue and saying that maybe that um, maybe uh, a certain midfielder might be um, back before the international break. Um, it sounds like maybe to be fully fit, these guys are probably going to be better after the international break. So I am optimistic in that respect that if we can get him and the likes of players I'm going to talk about later. Um, that we that we can at least end the season well, but we need to get over what is going to be, in my opinion, a difficult March, um, early April period um, where our season is in the balance, basically. Now, Marcus Rashford. Now, obviously, Marcus Rashford picked up a knock um, in the game uh, last weekend. Um, he he obviously he didn't play in the Europa League game as well. Um, it looks like he's he's, he's doubtful. Would I be surprised if Solskjaer tries to play him? Because Rashford has said, and I said that he's played for the pain bar before. Yes, I wouldn't be surprised because the reality is that without Rashford and soon to be Martial, we'll talk about later, our front three is looking like Greenwood, Daniel James and Ahmad Diallo. That's basically our front three. I'm going to talk about that in the preview, West Brom preview, um, on, that'll be on this channel. Um, so because of that, um, I think that... Um, I think, um, you know, let put it this way. Um, I don't think that if United even lose to Western Weekend, that's a major thing. Um, I think we need to think about just top. We're not going to win the league. And whether it's second, third or fourth at this point, um, as much as I would like to finish second, I don't care. Um, it's just about we ideally want a trophy, trophy, show some improvement. And so if Marcus Rashford can be ready potentially for the away game to Milan, I think that'd be better than trying to force him to play against the West, the West Ham side that to be fair in good form. That's what I'd prefer personally. Um, I just, I just think that he's been overplayed. 
Um, I think I know a lot of people have given him jip, um, but he's been overplayed. And, and we know he has a recurring back injury. Um, so he needs rest. He needs recuperation. He definitely, definitely, definitely should not go on international duty. Now, I say that for a lot of United players, um, you know, Bruno, like there's so many players in the squad that I'm I'm dreading when the um, the qualifiers and things are because we can't have these players leave and go. We can't. They 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 really, really, really can't. Um, they just can't. Um, so, yeah, for me, um, he needs rest. Hopefully he'll be back for the Milan game. Um, if not, we're going to have to see what happens, to be honest, because we're going a bit light there. <laughs> right. But as when Asran Washford will be back, it sounds like he's going to be, it sounds like he'll probably be back a lot sooner, potentially, um, than, um, than our midfielders. Maybe even this weekend, who knows? Because it wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past Oli, like I did with McTominay, rushing a player back to play um, and not let people know about it. Good, bad, remains to be seen. Anthony Marshall, and obviously Marshall picked up a knock, um, an injury against um, Milan in week. He came on for Ahmed Diallo, who obviously scored. Um, I think Marshall's definite doubt. Again, much like Rashford, I don't think it's not like an injury that's going to be him out for a while, in theory. Um, but I think he's doubtful for this game and probably doubtful for the Milan game. Um, so you might expect him to be back maybe a week, two weeks to get back into things. Um, you know, whatever you say about Martial, the rat is he's part of our forward line, and our forward line um, is basically being decimated right now. You know, um, no, um, no Cavani, no Martial, no Rashford, um, no matter. Um, it's 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 peak. <laughs> it's peak. It's it's getting real, and we're now having to rely on academy player. Like so let, let's let's just just think about it for a second. Just imagine if Greenwood and Ahmed weren't in the squad. Like what would we be relying on? Like literally the bench and the West Ham game. We're going to talk about in the West Ham preview. Um, is could be you're going to have to bring youth products here. Shola, Shola, Shola. If we're going to have a goal, we're going to have to bring on Shola on. That's mad. Shola Shorty, we're going to have to bring him on. If you want to chase goals, you want to try and change, he's going to have to come on at some point. That's crazy. You know, so we need our first team players back as quick as possible, especially in his, like, especially in his front six that we that we have. We need them back. Um, so, and Bruno needs a rest. Um, and he, right now he's not getting a rest. So respect to Bruno. He's an incredible athlete because I don't know how he keeps himself fit. But anyway, we need Martial back. Um, and we need him in the back hard um, because we're going to be struggling up front, I think, for the next few games. And I don't anticipate he'll be fit for the Milan game. Um, Cavani, um, obviously news came out about Cavani. Um, Boca Juniors wants to go back. It's, it is an enigma here. Um, I can sort of understand Cavani's, you know, with what's happening in England and the contract and stuff. Like, I mean, he, I mean, he's a, he's a, a elite professional. Um Possibly, maybe wanted to go back to South America. Um, you know, are United going to be in a search for a striker? Who knows? But as far as, but you know, he's obviously picked up a few injuries that are kept in our games, and I don't think we've been able to utilize them as much as we would like to this season. Um, and I don't think that's completely his fault. Um, but I am a bit worried that the, especially with rumors that potentially he might be wanting to leave and us getting close to the end of the season. You know, that'd be a lot because we've only got because people don't understand there's only 10 more um, I think there's only 10 more games. Which is third, there's only 10 more games. We're going into the final 10 games of the season. There's only 10. Um 30 points still, so a lot of points to be played for, and it's so close at the, at the top, but it's still only 10 games. So and after tomorrow it'll be nine games, you know. So we really need um and on top of the games that we have in the FA Cup and in Europa League. So we really need him back to make a difference if we're going to end the season well and potential with a trophy. We will. Um, but whether the temptation to leave, especially from his father's comments, might mean that he might be out for a bit longer remains to be seen. It's not really clear when he'll be back. Um, but hope I, I don't even think he'll be back for the Milan game. You know, I would... The impression I'm getting is it probably sometime after the international break. But knowing Cavani, and this is the thing worries, worries me, is that like he'll probably go and play for Uruguay on international break. 
um, and then make up his mind and then potentially leave, you know, and that's, that's a problem. Um, Pogba, 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 Pogba. Um, I don't know when Pogba's going to be fit, guys, to be honest. I really, really, really don't know when Pogba's going to be fit. I don't. And um, it's it's peak, man. Um, you know, one of the things I've noticed with Pogba um, over the last game is that he does actually pick up a lot of these long-term injuries. I mean, he's a good player. He's a talented player. We need to sign him. But he is out for long spells during the season with injuries. He is. Um, you know, and I always say this quite a few times. I'm like, you can slate Maguire. You can slate... Fred, you can slate, um, you know, um, Bruno and say they were hyped or whatever. But the reality is that, like, it's obviously not players' fault, but a player is no use to a team if they're injured, ultimately. They're not. So we can cost the player's ability or say they're overhyped or rated, but at the end of the day, they're fit. They're ready to play. So they're utilizable. It doesn't matter how good a player is, if they're injured all the time, then they're not going to be that much use to the team in terms of getting points getting titles, etc. It's not. That's our, been our issue with Eric Bay, for example. So that's why I, you know, whatever people say, I, I my only defense of Harry Maguire is that whatever you say, he is technically our most fit centre-back. Everyone else is either injury prone or carrying an injury. He's our most fit one. So whatever you say, even if he's good or not, you have to play him because he's our most fit one. You know, um, the players have better ability, but fundamentally you can't rely on, on players if they're injured all the time. And my issue with Pogba right now, I think he's a fantastic player. I think he was our best player and helped us to be top. And the fact that he's been injured since for quite some time, probably since the end of January, um, is a massive blow, a massive one. I know he wants to play football as well. But, you know, the reality is that, like, we need to, we need, we're relying too much on a lot of our, inj on our injured players. Um, and you look at City... City had two key injured players out and they were still fine. You know, we need that at Manchester United um, and we need players that can regularly play in week in, week out. And this is not just Pogba, but this is the team in general. Um, I hope he comes back. Um, he might, Oli might have alluded to Pogba being one of the midfielders who might be back before the international break, given the fact that he's been out for a bit longer. Um, so fingers crossed it's him um, because we need midfield options. And I certainly think that you can't play you can't continue to play Matic in that midfield um, or McTominay and Fred. Although we've won games with McTominay and Fred, I don't think you can continue to play that midfield. Um, I just don't think it, it works all the time. And especially against West Ham side that pressing and cause us problems. So Pogba, we'll see. Matter is another one. I didn't mention Matter in the previous video, but Matter is definitely one where you're like, hmm, it's, it's, it's a problem. It's a problem, it's a problem, it's a problem. Um, and... Um, the reality for matter is is that um um we extend his contract i think he's obviously getting to a time where i think that maybe a spain move might be likely he to be honest would have been very useful in terms of his passing and creativity and movement against milan in our last couple of games i don't know what's up we have not had any update whatsoever i know ollie hasn't used him that much this season but he would have been very useful um and he's out as well you know um and it's a shame because we could really use a guy who, who's a playmaker like Mata in this squad. Um, even potentially playing him at number 10 to give Bruno a bit of a rest. Um, that's the type of versatile player that you need. Um, and he's not and he's not playing, you know. So I think that's a bit of a blow. Um, and we, again, we're not sure when he's going to be back either. Again, is it something about rumours and stuff? Because I, I know a lot of um, Spanish-speaking players and American players didn't aren't really happy with the way that Sergio Romero has been tret and Don Wright. I think has been tret very poorly. Um, we've got to see what happens. Um, it's 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 a one to watch, but I'm not sure when Matt is going to come back. To be honest. And lastly, Philip Jones, um, unknown return date, unknown return date. Basically, this dude has been injured since lockdown of 2020 first initiated. Um, He'll be back probably by the beginning of the next season. So I, he'll probably bypass all the transfer window and basically see out his contract. And fair play, fair play to the guy, you know. So he, it is what it is. Um, it's how he rolls. Um, I wish him a speedy recovery, but I don't know what use really to Manchester United Phil Jones is currently when he was injured. 
I don't know. I don't know. I really, really don't know for this guy. Um, all I know is that um, we need to get another. We need to get a non-injury prone centre back um, ASAP. That's what we need. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you've gotten this far, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Red Dogs. Let me know if you like the injury updates. Let me know if you like them. Like them. Remember to smash a like, smash the notification button. Follow us on Twitch United X. Have a nice day, everyone, and cheers.